March 11th, I'm Mark Kelly with your news to go. It took 99 days, but Major League Baseball's lockout is over and players can now report to spring training across the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast as early as today, in fact. Now, team owners and players, they struck a new labor agreement that ends the second longest work stoppage in baseball history. So games will start as soon as next week. Free agent signings can actually start immediately and opening day is April 7th. Both well, gas prices on the rise, folks across South Florida are turning to some alternate forms of transportation to try to save some cash. Brightline says their ridership has gone up 250%. Tri-Rail seeing an increase too. We're also seeing more people getting outside using their bikes when we're out on the streets too. Cover news for you. Also, legislation known as Mia's Law has passed unanimously through the Florida House. One short amendment was added by lawmakers preventing by-the-hour hotel rentals due to human trafficking concerns. Now, this law was named after the 19 year old college student who authorities say was killed by a maintenance worker at her apartment complex. The measure aims to improve tenant safety by tightening apartment security measures, requiring background screenings for employees at these apartment complexes. Now the bill goes to the Florida Senate for another vote today. Sandra. All right, thanks a lot, Mark. And uh, weather-wise, we're going to see daytime highs surge into the 80s again today, and we're going to be in the low 90s tomorrow, out ahead of a cold front, which will really change the narrative as we make our way throughout the course of the weekend. So an isolated severe storm chance tomorrow. Today, it doesn't look like we're going to get too much, though I think we'll see a few later on this evening. That's your news to go.